Good morning, everybody. Uh, Damien Donegan is my name, uh, and Donegan Acoustics is the name of my company. And we are here in Mallow, County Cork, in the south of Ireland. We're in their GAA club, in the sports hall of their GAA club. And what I want to do this morning is I want to demonstrate a flutter echo. Uh, a flutter echo happens in a large hall like this. This, this hall has got a volume of about 20,000 cubic meters. And a flutter echo happens when you've got sound bouncing off two parallel walls but they're parallel reflective walls. And as you can see, the walls here are either glass or they're painted block work, which means that they're highly reflective. So what happens is the flutter echo will bounce backwards and forwards off those two walls until it slowly diminishes. So I'm now going to clap my hand uh, and you will be able to hear the flutter echo. Now, as you can hear, that flutter echo lasts just over seven seconds. So the way to treat that is to treat one or both of the reflective surfaces with absorption material. There can be timber panels, or there can be a fabric acoustic panel, there can be foam panels. Um, it depends on budget, it depends on fire rating, and it depends on uh, the type of look um, of, of finished that, that they may be looking for. But you need to make either one or both of the surfaces absorb absorbent so that the sound doesn't bounce backwards and forwards, it gets absorbed by the absorption material and thus it gets rid of the, the flutter echo. Thank you very much.